let's see. I think we looked at we looked at um we looked at devastation, didn't we? We've looked at devastation. We've already seen the armor models on devastation. I don't think we could see these things back then. But not sure. Yeah, sixteen con guns. I don't think we could see these things back then, but doesn't really change much in terms of actual exposed citadel. Actual exposed citadel. Actual exposed citadel, which is crazy, because this is like a super ship that can actually be citadel. I, I don't think that was legal in 2023. The citadel is quite low, though. But, hmm. Is there an essay sheet with all the international COTS winners? No clue. No clue. Four hundred thirty-two millimeter sit on. I, I mean, I'm happy to see that because that thing has. That thing comes with like. Uh, that thing comes with. That thing comes with super hill, of course, and you can have. Uh, Four of them. With, with health flag and everything, you can heal a ridiculous amount. What is this new? Okay. But yeah, b besides that, uh, I'm I'm happy to see that because um, I'm happy that it's a, it's a super ship that can actually be citadel or seems to be able to be citadel. Novosibirsk, so we looked at as well. This thing came up. Didn't this thing have the yeah, 15 second radar, standard heal, hydro or defensive? I think we looked at this one as well. This armor looks really strong though. It has a bit more superstructure, which is compared to like Shitro and such, so it, this one is a bit easier to farm in that sense. But only the tip of the nose is 25. It has a massive icebreaker, like it's actually gigantic. 40. And of course, it's not exposed. 35, 35 upper belt, 50 millimeter deck armor. But the citadel is layered. Or actually, it's not even layered. It's spaced. Wait, that's interesting. This is spaced. I don't think I noticed that the past time. But this is a spaced armor. This isn't even a layered armor. Petro has layered armor. This thing has spaced, which means a lot of shells are gonna disappear into this one. So what, what kind of armor do you have? 210, 330 here, and 270 here. Interesting. But I, I mean, the Citadel is quite high in the water. I feel like this one's still close enough, or with enough pen. This one gives you broadside, you can absolutely smash this thing. The Citadel is quite sizable. I'm surprised though, it, I don't remember it being spaced, because like you can see the difference. You can see the difference if you look at the armor here. You see, like, there's empty space on purpose here. And then you go tech tree. And then we look at Petro. And before I misremembered, and it's going to look identical, but I don't think so. No, you see, uh, it's different. This is Petro Citadel, but Petro has, like, uh, this, is, this is an enclosed chunk of armor. This is an enclosed chunk of armor around it. 180, 300, 220. So it has much, much more, more significantly more armor than Petro, but the Citadel is still vulnerable. We'll see what it comes out in. Do we look at the UDDs? I don't think we looked at the UDDs. Stored, I'm looking forward simply because this is a, a rare historical ship that is actually a complete Chad. It's, it's cool to see. An actual historical. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. It's cool to see an actual historical ship make a return or be added to the game with all the bullshit they add. An actual historical ship is uh, Prost. Thank you. Kiitos. Danke schön. An actual historical ship being added is cool. <laughs> Jesus. 
Oh, I need to take my I need to take my allergy. My allergy pill. Have to have to. I'll let you, I'll let you. Oh shit, actual story on that. Yeah, Norwegian ship. Grom, also interesting. Sister ship of Biskvitsa. Split tier 8. 5x10, 140. I hope it doesn't hear, hear through too much, she's vacuuming. Story, that's a fucking essay? I mean... When it comes to wargaming essays, I rather they essay... Uh, I rather they essay about historical things instead of woulda coulda happen. Like compared to the to the Pan American cruisers, that story, man, that essay was something else. Oh, uh, they could have been sold, and they would have maybe been, and it could have happened, and possibly should have, and could have, and this is why we now have a fucking wonky wooster as our tier ten. <laughs> like what? Okay, let's see what else this have. Oh yeah, this thing had super fast storms on. Huh? Do you already get hydro at this point? Thirty-eight knots base speed. Jesus, this thing is fast. This thing is super fast. 13.4, not the biggest health pull. What's the armor on this? It's standard? Standard so far. Is this what already you get? You're already at tier 8, man. Already at tier 8. 8%. So how fast is this thing? You do 38. And speed flag. You do 43 knots. And you got 9km radar. The duration is short, but it's basically enough to get, get your bursts in. 8.5 can seal. What can Jesus, 43 knots, that's really fast though, isn't it? 6.9 can seal. The can seal is pretty oof though. But I mean, with this speed... I mean, technically you have the opportunity of... You run at someone, full speed... He, he comes towards you, second you get spotted, you pop radar, and then you farm him during the time it takes for him to, like, disengage, turn around. And then when it runs out, then he can smoke, or he can start smoking earlier. But um, if he miss, he needs to instantly full stop, just eat the radar and smoke up. Otherwise, you're just going to have such an advantage there. Alternatively, you can just push into that range, push until you close up with him, start fighting, and then when he slows down and smokes, you slow down and smoke, and then you radar to get an additional 10 seconds of free damage in on him. Huh. We'll see how that works. How much health does that? 16.6! 16.6! With HP perk? How much is HP perk at this tier? It's tier 8? Uh... 2.4, what, 2650 2, or something? It's a bit more. But, so you end up with almost, what, 19k health? More than 19k health. Huh. At tier 8? That's pretty wolf. What kind of DPM does this thing have? We should probably look at that as well. What kind of DPM are, can we already, we can probably already see DPM on those things, right? Let's see, tier 8. It can't have too much DPM. With this many advantages, if it has a lot of DPM, it's just busted. Uh, let's see. Yeah, split is here. Nice. Whoa. Okay. Oh, yeah, this thing didn't have AP. But wait, wait, wait. It has much more, it has more DPM than Orkin. Whoa. Okay. Dude, it almost has Benson Kid DPM. But it has smoke and radar. And a lot more health than they do. Like, what's the health pool? Where does it rank on the health pool? It... Here. Same health as Kiev. More health than Kiev, actually. Huh. Jeez. So, the, wait, what's the real downside on this thing? I guess the slightly worse conceal? 
Because the speed is really good. The speed is really good. Huh. Okay. We'll see how that works out. Shell speed, maybe? Okay, six guns. Katsonis. Six guns. Mm, 20.3 k health. Okay. 11.5 range. How fast is this? 38 as well, so you'll do 43. Um, same. 9 km, 10 second radar. Smoke. What kind of torps? 80 knot torps. Oh shit, yeah, you get European torps, don't you? You get European torps. Jesus, 80 knot. 80 knot 9 km range torps. Goddamn sidewinders, man. I remember when Wargaming still pretended like o IGN Oxygen Torps that were the fastest, were actually the fastest in the game. That's a long time gone, huh? No flak at all. Okay. Standard of charges. What's the conceal on this thing? 8.9x. Seven point two, so slightly worse. Slightly worse. On the other hand, you're gonna have more DPM. Whoa! Holy abomination! <laughs> what? What the fuck is? Th Wait, what the fuck is this? Really? Holy shit! How have I missed this? <laughs> it's it's like I don't <laughs> what. Huh, interesting. What's the reload? 4.4 second, huh? This looks World War One. It looks so World War One. But this thing is like doing 43 knots and has radar and shit. And 18 of torps and shit. What? Okay, really wonky torpedo setup as well. That's important to note actually. You can't launch both same side. You can launch four, then you have to launch four the other. Jesus, what a fuck, what a weird goddamn ship. And then you got three singles in the back. What the fuck? What's with, like, wait, wait, can I? What, what is this? Year of design, 1929. In late 1920s, there was a dispute among leaders of the Greek Navy of whether to invest in building more conventional ships or build fewer but stronger ones. Turkey purchased, purchased four destroyers from Italy. Okay. Italy. Wait. Namely, the E class cruiser named with 640mm guns. Lambert's Cazzoni was named after the leader of the. Wait, is this a cruiser? A pre designs of a fleet cruiser. What? Is this a World War I cruiser? Wait, wait, what, what, what is Elkat? Is wait, is this a real ship? Elkatsonis ship, Lambros Katsonis. A town class light cruiser. Wait, what is that the thing? Lambros Katsun is town class. No, that's not it. I think. What the f What is this? Is this fantasy thing or what? It's a real ship? What is this thing? Like, what is. Is this like a cruiser that we're gaming? It looks like it, almost like it. It's like a cruiser we're getting made into a destroyer or something. I'm more confused by the minute. It's fantasy? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, fair enough. What a weird looking ship. No flak, of course. World War One. The ship, Lamal. No AA. Is that how they justify not putting AA on ships nowadays? Is that, is that going to be their future approach to explaining why no ships have AA? 
Oh, uh, they were all one. <laughs> is, is that gonna be it? Well... I guess they could- they can't sell low tiers anymore. So they're just putting low tier ships into high tier and pretending they're high tier ships. I think that's what they're doing, because like no one plays low tier and no one buys low tier ships anymore. So the only way they can sell their low tier designs is by pretending they're high tier. Jesus. What kind of armor? Okay, 19 across the board. Fair enough. What an abomination. What an abomination. Though. Let's see. What kind of DPM is this thing pumping out? Let's see. Speed wise, it's doing pretty hot. It's absolutely one of the faster, faster tier 9s. Um, what's the helpful? Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty chunky. Truly, truly. Okay, what's the HDP? Ooh, 163. Better than Fletcher. Better than Fletcher, which isn't setting the bar high in, in the current year. Better than a fair few of these. And you're going to build a full gunboat. You're not going to reach up to the levels for Kitakaze and such, but should be pretty strong. The HE salvo weight is really heavy, though. That's kind of scary. It has actually a really high HE salvo weight. Because you got to remember, it has radar. So you're going to pop radar and you're going to chunk him with, like, what? Six 2k shells. So you're going to chunk him with that. You're going to get, like, three, four volleys off before the guy gets out of radar. That's a lot of damage. But, yeah, I was about to say that, that cat slave. Can you really fire all guns? Maybe if you're angled like this, maybe you can fire all guns, like... If you're angled like this, maybe all guns can fire. But I'm kind of doubting, because, like, this is a World War One fucking turret setup. I don't think... I'm not sure how well these things can shoot. Seems... Question. Good ballistics, too. Yeah, 140s. What, what kind of ballistics are we talking about here? Let me see. Uh, let's see. RT... Okay, who's got strong ballistics? We got... We can put the Americans as a... Basic test. Basic, like, Fletcher guns. They're pretty dog. And then we put the really good ones. Basically, the top of the... Top of the pot, we put the Mogador guns, which are great. Then we see, what is this? This is European... Mm. Oh, they're not here. Oh, let's check. No? Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, Lambros got some. Oh? Oh, wait, what happened? Is this thing okay? Okay, that, that worked. Is it not added? I guess it's not added. Is it because it's trying to add a... Oh shit! We can't check it here. Because it doesn't have any AP. Fuck, I was going to look at the flight charts. But we can't look at the flight charts because it doesn't have any fucking AP. So... Uh, of course. Of course. I just, I wasn't in interested in penetration. I wanted to see the flight time. But, uh, we can't see it because no AP. Kick. Okay, well, let's see. Um, we do. Here. Mm mm mm. 840 shell weight 40 kilo. Can't see crop or anything though. Hmm. Yikes. It's gonna be hard to tell. 844 the kilo. 844 kilo. What 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 does uh Mogador have? 844 the kilo. Oh interesting. Same shell velocity, same shell weight. 
Huh. Interesting. Okay. I I, I don't know what it's going to add up as. So that's got so on its own. But it could make sense that they gave it a French shell ballistics when you consider the fact that Gdansk is literally a goddamn Mogador. Except it's like a Mogador on crack. Uh oh. Based on the notion of Polish ships achieving superiority or their enemy counterparts through quality rather than quantity, Poland designed the Crusader ship class, large destroyers that would be capable of taking on even light cruisers. In the late 1930s, several projects for such ships were being considered in Gdynia. The Mogador class destroyers were suitable for the purpose as they were comparable to light cruisers in certain parameters and outmatched them in others, for example, in speed. Had ships of this class been built in France, the destroyers that survived the war would have been re-equipped in the 1950s and 1960s with Soviet air defense, radars, and torpedoes. <laughs> See, this is exactly why I prefer when the entire text is just history. This is exactly why I prefer when the entire text is just history. Like, this entire text could just be replaced with we pulled it out of our ass. We don't wanna we don't wanna model an entirely new ship. So we took a Mogador and then we pulled that it's Polish out of our ass. That would have been that would have been a better explanation and like more honest than the, <laughs> this entire bullshit letter. <laughs> oh my god. Chat GPT would write it better. Yeah, exactly. This is why I like it. I'm fine when it's historical, because the second it's not historical, Wargaming always goes like they, they take out their crack pipe and they go on their little mushroom adventure into how the ship came to be. Okay, so Gdansk. Gdansk. Four speed boosts, four radars. Yeah. Wait, it's 3.7 second reload. With 3.7 second reload base. What? Isn't that f really fucking good? 24.4k health! Isn't it a Mogador though? So, French saturation? 86 not torps as well. So, European Holland torps. 12k in base range. 41.2 base speed. Wait, wait. <laughs> what? This is such a fucking abomination, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a fucking abomination, man. Holy shit. This is a real fucking crack pipe product again, isn't it? Holy shit. Okay, so we do... We're faster than Mogador. Because reasons, apparently. We do fucking 46.7 knots. What was Mogador's speed? Wasn't it like... How, what was Mogador's speed? Like, Kleber. Kleber does what? 44. No, never mind. Mog Mogador was still faster. We're, we're, fa we're faster than... Flag Mogador, but we're not faster than Speed Boost Mogador with the 20% Speed Boost. True, 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 true. We're faster than Gata, though. That's important. We're faster than Gata. This thing, this is one of the rare new ships that can actually catch up to the Gata. That's pretty bulk. That is pretty bulk. So this thing does, what was it? 46.7... 46.7 knots. Okay. Um, let's see. What does, it, what does the thing look like? Okay, this is totally not a Mogador, clearly. We can launch both sets to one direction, unlike the tier 9. These torps are, of course, really good. Like, these are Holland torps, which here are superbly good. Um, armor, it's classic 19. Survivability 24.4. That seems really wacko to me, though. Okay, let's see. It seems really wacko to me. Isn't that a lot? 24.4 Gdansk. To be fair, every new ship they've added has had more health. I remember when Kaba was like the tankiest destroyer in the game. Now Kaba is here. And Wargaming tried to justify the fact that it's slower and uh, has less range and has no torpedoes and has no DPM. It's trying to justify the Kaba sitting here and every new ship they add has, has more and more health. It's like, what? But yeah, 24.4 on Gdansk. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Death charges. 
Okay, standard ship boost. Neo defense. Does it get flak? No flak allowed. You're not allowed to shoot down planes. Because that's illegal. Interesting. Interesting. 5.3 rudder. Remind me again why Kaba has... What is it? 10 second rudder or 9 second rudder? There's no, actually, it's even worse than that. It's something absurd, isn't it? What's, what was Kaba rudder? I'm actually curious. Let me see. Uh oh <laughs> oh they're right <laughs> 11 11 point <laughs> 11 .1. yeah of course yeah this thing though the 5.3 makes sense man holy shit poor combat i was holy shit it it really sucks to be an old ship in this game man holy fuck it really sucks to be an old ship in this game it's what you 9.1 conceal we, you at least build concealment or like the module you get 8.2 if you want then you can go also captain build which is unlikely because if it's it's a it's a mogador with 12k in base range and smoke yeah you can get it to 7.4 it's a mogador like you can already get stealth radar with 8.2 because you got a 9k radar so you can already get stealth radar with this like this thing is going to be so oppressive you, you farm, you farm, when you take too much pressure, you park, you smoke up, and farm some more. Uh, if if you're worried that someone might be bullying you, or trying to even close the distance, you pop surveillance radar. And then you just radar him and smash him for 10 seconds. Like, he runs away, comes back, the cooldown is only 60 seconds. You ha you'll have it ready soon. 60 second cooldown, isn't that like really short, by the way? Isn't that like a really short cooldown? What small ones radar cooldown? 120 oh shit yeah that's what i thought it's half the cooldown of like the other years that's what i thought i was like hold on 60 seconds seems like non-existent okay so wow this one puts like you're gonna run out of this radar sure but before you do you're gonna put up so much pressure on the enemy team because you're gonna have light cruiser radar range on a one minute cooldown and with mogadar ballistics Holy shit. That's that's gonna be so oppressive early game. Like that's gonna be so oppressive early game. Like the first five, six minutes, you can't get any like he it's gonna control the first five, six minutes of the game. Cause uh the radar is basically always gonna be available. And it's gonna have smoke and incredible speed and what kind of DPM? What kind of DPM? What kind of DPM? H E DPM. <laughs> okay. Okay, so 227. What kind of base pen does it have? 23. Okay, so. Cool. Ragnar might do well against it because this one can't load AP against the Ragnar. So Ragnar will probably do well because you can just hit broadside and Gedans can't load AP to smash you. So Ragnar will do well. Elbin will probably do decent as well because might get some full arms on this thing. Generally, ships that you normally load AP on will do well against Gidans because it can't load AP. But 227 DPM. The range is really good though. 12 km base range with, with Mogador Ballistics. What's Kleber base range? Isn't it like... Yeah, it's 13.6. It's even better. But the difference is you'll have smoke. So obviously you're going to build like reload mod and you're going to build AFT... In, in captain build and then you're just gonna farm 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 anyone comes close to you, you radar them and you farm 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 shit you can even drop torps as well because you got holland torps get some floods follow up with fires jeez 227 dpm what's clever dpm 137 so they gave it almost 90k more DPM. In fact, it has almost half the reload. Almost half the reload. Gdansk is basically a Kleber with reload booster up. Isn't it? It, it is. Kleber has 7 second reload. 16k HE salvo. Gdansk, 14k. So you lose 2k, but almost half the reload. So you, you, you're basically a you, you're like you're Mogador with perma reload booster. Is it really that stupid? Wait, where's Cle where's uh, Mogador? Where's Mogador? Mogador here. 
8 second. Oh, never mind. You have better than Mogador Reload Booster Reload. Because Mogador Reload Booster is 4 second. So you got 3.7. You have less HG salvo, salvo weight. So I think it, it probably roughly evens out. 120k DPM, you add 50, that's 110. You end up at 230k. And this thing has, what, 227. Yeah, it's almost like permanent reload booster Mogador. It's almost like permanent reload booster Mogador. Except you have smoke and a radar. <laughs> wow. Well, it's same it's same incredible ballistics as well. Like look at all these other guys here. Look at all the other guys who have more DPM. Look at their flight time on the shells. 10.6 seconds, 9.8, 9 9.9, 9.3, 9.7. 7.3, Gdansk. It has sure better than Sherman ballistics. But more HE DPM than a Sherman. Huh. And it's fast as hell, unlike Sherman, who's hilariously slow. And it has French saturation. Jesus fucking Christ, that is so dented. <laughs> it's so dented. That is so dented. <laughs> what kind of forest per minute is it? Does it pump out? Oh, <laughs> of course. Of course, because you have the increased fire chance because you got Mogador guns, Mogador shells. So you got a 10% fire chance, some of the best of all destroyers. But you also have an incredible reload because you got basically perma reload booster. So you're almost the best fire starting destroyer in the entire game. While having smoke, while having radar, while doing 46.7 knots, while having uh, Holland torpedoes on top as well. And French saturation. Wow. <laughs> wow. What a fun new addition. Oh, it doesn't have French situation. Oh, thank God. Thank God for small mercies. So, wait, they copied a French ship, but they then they took away the French ship mechanic. Interesting. Well, that's good at least. Good at least. Thank God, thank God for small favors. It probably doesn't change the fact that this thing is going to be absolutely a bowl at the fight. Because you're going to be sitting at 13 kilometers, acceleration juking, back and forth, farming with Mogador Reload Booster DPM and some of the best fire startings per minute, dropping torps, and God forbid if you get some damage on you, you smoke up. That's going to be so oppressive to deal with. And then you send your Shima in there to try to deal with him, or you send some Didi in there to try to deal with that Gdansk that's farming you, and then the Gdansk pops reload boost, uh, pops a uh, radar, and it's like being radared by a reload booster Mogador. That Didi is gonna lose half his health instantly. Jesus. I in good hands, Gdansk is gonna be an absolute fucking nightmare to deal with. Like, absolute fucking nightmare to deal with. Jesus. Man. <laughs> this is a real wargaming moment, man. Oh boy. Oh boy, very cool, very cool. Very cool. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Thank you for another new, great new addition, Wargaming. Okay. Try it yourself, try it yourself. The flight time? Yeah, I saw it there. I saw it there. We just checked it out. The flight time. Yeah, no, that's... Imagine having better flight time than Ragnar, while having um, 80k more DPM than Ragnar. <laughs> you have better flight times than Ragnar and 80k more DPM than Ragnar. And Ragnar is already an obscenely good kiting farming HE ship. Wow. Wow. Well, that's... Yikes. Ah. <laughs> You know, whatever. Whatever, it's war gaming, but they, they are pulling out all the stops to make money, it seems, so we're not even surprised at this point. Okay, what else what else interesting did we have here? Uh oh yeah, Numancia. What was Numancia? That was their new Spanish premium thing? Oh, this was the weird Spanish Graf Spear thing, wasn't it? 
What the fuck is this thing? We read a dead blog on this thing. Three triple turret in the front to Well what hell was Numancia chat? What was it? It was Numancia, was Spanish cruiser. Um based on the hull of the Emerald class ship, but with seven two hundred and three millimeter guns. Wait, <laughs> Emerald Hull? Wow. Okay, interesting. Mm. Okay, this thing has burst mode and Okay, this thing has burst mode. It has torps, fast reloading torps. What what kind of armor? Oh fuck. Oh wait, tier eight? Twenty-five, twenty-seven. Hundred and okay, light cruiser. A light cruiser um citadel. Exposed citadel as well. Twenty-seven. So four oh six is our match. Everything. Dude, this is gonna be a flat nose citadel. Oh fuck! Oh, um, do, do you guys understand that with all of this are matchable, and all of this are matchable? There's gonna be so much, so much. But uh, they do give it 38 millimeter deck armor to protect against the plunging. But like anything resembling close range, you're gonna get overmatch citadel here, and overmatch citadel here. Like absolute craziness. Like. It's 27. All you need is uh, four of the sixes. Boom. Our match. Interesting. And it, it supposedly has 34.5k health. 34.5k health with this armor. What? No heal, no smoke. Just damage control, f hydro, and fighter. Does 33.5 knots. It's stealthy, but that's it. It has 10.4 base, so you probably end up with 8 points of concealed. But... <laughs> what? No heal, no smoke. With this armor and 33.5 knots. Ooh. What? Oh, and the main guns have 14.4k in range. What? 14 point... So the conceal is going to be completely irrelevant because carriers and subs. So you're supposed to farm at 14.4k range with an overmatchable 34.5k HP cruiser that has zero armor, zero smoke and zero heal. And only does 33.5 knots and has no speed boost so acceleration juking is questionable. Wow, this might actually this must be like a free ship they're gonna add. This is gonna be like a battle pass ship or something. This this is like everything about this looks absolutely tragic, absolutely tragic. It has to be like it's gonna be a battle pass or dockyard ship or something like dockyard bonus ship or something. Guaranteed premium. It has to be a free like who in their right minds would pay for this thing? To be fair, there were people who bought Yodo early access so. I guess anything is possible in World Warships. Okay, let's see. Where's, where's the, this one? Loria! What the fuck was Loria? Was this the... Oh, this was the... Thunder Abomination. This was the 457mm sap shooting abomination, wasn't it? Ruggiero di Loria in 1929 someone someone engineer Ferdinando Casone 8457mm guns okay so this one has 79.2k health 4 4x2 4 457s those turrets look so out of place on the ship holy shit they they, they literally look like upsized turrets or it looked like triple turrets, and then someone just took away the middle turret. They look so dented. <laughs> it was spamming dented. 
Hey, this was the ship designed with 456, but Wargame was like, that nah, was total 457 because CBA making new turrets. This one had sap and an match. Okay. And this one comes with repair, DCP, fighter spotter, surface detect 15.2, maximum speed 35. Yeah, 32 schnoes. Wait, it's got a... Whoa, what the fuck is this? 32 forward deck. Wait, we're missing something. Uh, turrets, there we go. 32 up forward. Like a part of it is 32. 19 here. 120. 50. 170. 120. 150. Holy shit. But this looks like kind of shell catchers. You don't you don't really like these stepped citadels with armor or stepped superstructures with armor because this just ends up eating a lot of pens. Especially considering a ship like this, you probably want to be in a kited away position. And this looks like a lot of potential shell catching spots. Oh, look at this thing. What is this? What is this shit? Okay, calling it right now, chat. You're going to be able to shoot from here, bounce off this and get citadels. Guaranteed. We've seen this on Yamatos and Amagis and Izumos. You can bounce off this shit. Guaranteed this is going to bounce into the city. But like, this is so... Look, like, imagine you're shooting AP from, from this. Normally, this would be a sleek broadside that you would bounce off. But now you're going to arm here, 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 here. You're going to get so many full arming AP shells on the superstructure. It's going to be insane. Like, you're gonna get so many full arms. Like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, even if you kite it away perfectly, look how much... This is like, uh, Colombo. Colombo has the same issue. So many fucking shell catchers from behind. You don't want these kind of shell catchers on a BD. From the front, if your angle is gonna... You're gonna have the same issue. Nose in, it's gonna be a bit better. 32 millimeter stern. Okay, interesting. You just peel away some things. Is that an exposed citadel? An exposed citadel. 457 millimeters of armor. Extremely, well, pretty damn low in the water. I feel like this thing can still be citadel, though. It's it's peeking out of the water. If the ship can be citadel, I'm always glad. We don't need more St. Vincent's and shit like that. Okay. Bro, what the fuck is this? It's like a box. Wait, so if you shoot AP, you're gonna just overmatch this, and then you're gonna arm. Okay, what the fuck was that? You're gonna arm on this. You're gonna overmatch that, and you're gonna arm. From every direction, basically, you're gonna be arming on this thing. What the fuck? Okay, now what the fuck did I just witness? Let's get rid of the turrets. What the fuck is that? Since when are they doing detailed citadels? They almost never do detailed citadels. They hate detailed citadels. Most of the time, Wargaming simplifies the citadel into, yeah, the engine room and shit was kinda here, we're just gonna make it a big block. Now they suddenly... What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Uh, what? Wait, like, what's up? What's protecting this? 50. Okay, but wait, can you punch through here? Kinda, maybe? Can you? I think you can citadel it straight through here. You punch through this, and the citadel peaks up here, like it's flat. I think you can citadel it on superstructure. Or like central. What? What the fuck? What the fuck is this thing? Can you do the same thing from this angle? Oh, with 32mm or match, you totally can. You shoot 32mm or match here, chat. On this entire belt. And right behind that is the citadel picking out. 
You can totally overmatch Citadel, but it's... what a weird fucking what? It has hidden plating not showing in game. Interesting. Yeah, that's gotta be the weirdest fucking sit I've seen in a while. I feel like there's a lot of like wonky shell catchers here. You're gonna eat. I, I, the, considering how shoddy their coding is, and considering how much desync is in the game right now, like the sheer amount of random ass goddamn citadels you're gonna eat in this thing, especially range or whatever. Wait, this this thing picks out though. What, 350 millimeter armor? What else is there? Wait, there is nothing else! Oh? There's nothing else! Okay. So, this is... Wow, this is a juice spot to shoot. Like, you just fucking put your crosshair on the broadside, this thing blows up. Huh. Interesting. Like, you got so many fucking places to... I mean, you, you, you'll get unlock if you shoot here, you kind of like hit the turtle back thing-esque. But if you hit here, that's a lot of citadel. Huh, even cruisers, 350, 350, that's... 350, let's see, cruiser, uh, AP, 12, 350, who can pen at 12 kilometers? Soviets, all the Soviets pen that. Siegfried pens that. Marseille pens that. Brest pens that. Guten Lu even pens. Shit, even Moskva, even Moskva can sit this thing broadside at 12 km. Because it's a flat surface. Huh. Okay. Interesting. That's a lot of ships that can shit on this thing if they get to brawl it. How close does Yoda have to be to sit it? I don't think it can. Unironically. Let's see, where was Artie? Why do we always go to the Yoda? Can someone explain why do we always go to Yoda? Is, is Yoda our favorite punching bag? We no longer talk about the Zao, we talk about the Yoda. So 350 million pen. <laughs> it can. <laughs> even if it's... <laughs> even if it's on top of it, it can. <laughs> it doesn't have enough, man. Oh, man. I think Elbing can sit the Dalit down. Pretty easily, I think. Where's Elbing? Where's Elbing Bong? The Elbing Bong drive by. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Elbing sails past it at three kilometers, raining citadels on it. That's that's Chad mode. That's Chad mode. That's what I wanna see. But yeah, so this is well, I actually like this, because it seems like this thing can actually get punished. Because it actually has a bad rudder, and uh, a sizable citadel, which is good. Because, I mean, when you look at when you look at the dumb dumbass um, Thunder, it so certainly seems like a nice change. Oh, it's not here. It didn't, wait, we need to add. No, it's not here. It's actually not even here yet. But this thing has a uh, 17 second rudder shift and a thousand meter turning circle. So it's not like a thunder that turns like a cruiser. This thing is gonna get smashed pretty hard. Which is probably fine, because you gotta remember, this thing has, what, 15.2 km concealed. So you build this thing to 12.3 concealed. It does 35 knots, so obviously you're gonna build, uh, you're gonna put speed flag on it, and you're gonna build brisk. How much was brisk? Was it 10%? How much was brisk? Why am I having? How much was brisk, chat? Someone tell me fast. Was it eight or ten? I don't remember. Ten? I think it was ten percent, but I don't want to type it in before I'm sure. Ten percent. Ten percent. Ten. Okay, so you're gonna do over 40 knots in this thing. 
You're gonna do over 40 knots in this thing. With with 12.3 cam conceal. And you got 457 millimeter guns with thunder dispersion. 1.8 sigma. And your sap has 16.6k alpha. So you you do divided by three. Potential 44k damage just in pure penetrations per volley with ur matching sap. So if you see a cruiser, it doesn't matter if he angles or not. If he's got 30 millimeter, his life is an orgy of you smashing him. So yeah, that's that's gonna fucking suck to play against. It's gonna suck to play against as a cruiser. Like there there's potential of like this much alpha per volley. If you're if you're a healthy ship, you're a healthy Hindenburg or something, and Loria shoots you, potential 44k sap or match. Doesn't need citadels or anything. Just sap damage. So yeah, the the damage is absolutely disgusting. And it's here's got a 30 second reload on these guns. So yeah, uh it's perfectly acceptable that this thing can get smashed by various things. That's in fact required because if if it wasn't vulnerable, like it's already then it's already gonna suck to play against in many ships. But at least these things will make it somewhat punishable. Somewhat punishable. Thank God for that. Zao can potentially get one shot by 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 sap. I mean, a lot of light cruisers can get one shot by sap. How much HP? Did it? Right now, it has seventy nine point two k. The thing is weird about it; it's got thirty nine mil thirty nine percent torpedo belt, which is baffling. How's the AP on it? Four five seven, so fourteen point nine k alpha. We'll see if they just copy pasta or higher guns on everything like they tend to do, or... Is it tech tree ship? No, no, no. Premium. Premium, 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 premium. Yeah, no. That's looking... pretty damn good. I think that was... all of them covered. I don't think there's anything else. This one looks like a punishing bag. This one looks pretty brutal. Like, strong as fuck. Gdansk looks broken as shit. I do not look for... Like, I do not look forward to fighting uh, Gdansk. Holy shit. 